All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of QuizTech Aero Pack, which is being made by forum user Quiznos323, and this is a beautiful little still-in-development parts pack, which adds in parts for the space plan hangar, to help you in creating vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And, oh, these parts are just gorgeous. So let's head on into the space plan hangar and take a look at the currently five parts. As I said, this is still in development. So uh, at the moment, there are five separate parts in this mod, uh, but with additional ones hopefully to come in the future. Now, the first one that we can take a look at here right in the command pod section is the Mark II Thunderbolt cockpit. So let's rotate around and get a little zoom in on this thing. It is a gorgeous looking, very stock alike cockpit that seats two people. If we actually take a look at its stats here, minimum crew of one has uh, some lift surfaces reaction wheel SAS it has its own air intake oop did not mean to click outside of that and of course electrical charge a beautiful beautiful little cockpit it does have an internal view but the internal view is still sort of in development now if you have B9 aerospace installed as well the mod does come with a config file to basically add in B9 stuff to the interior to make it look much nicer. But in its current state, it's a pretty bare bones interior. Hopefully it gets much nicer in the future. And one thing you should notice with the name, it is Mark II. And it fits with all the other various Mark II parts. As you can see here, if we click in any of these things, it fits right in line with this cockpit as well. And that's one of the things I really like about this current parts pack and the parts that currently are in it. They all match up with the Mark II stuff that we already have in game, so it doesn't need to add any additional fuel tanks because, well, they already fit right at the back of this thing. Look at that. Beautiful. Fits right in line. So we can just move right down to engines to take a look at three engines that the mod pack currently adds in and now the first one we are going to take a gander at here is the k-fan vtol lifter section which is an inline engine to uh basically add th four or no hold on hold on let me let me get this right here to add upwards thrust to the forward section of the plane. There we go. Didn't want to fudge that up, but yes, this is a inline engine that sadly we can't see the animation in here by activating it, uh, but it does when you activate it, the top panel lifts up and the bottom panel opens up and you see a large intake fan up here and of course the engine on the bottom creating that upwards thrust. It does also have some fuel capacity which by default starts at zero and you can knock it on up to a hundred and it makes for a lovely, lovely little inline engine. I really love this thing. You guys will love the animation once we get outside the space plan hangar to take a look at it. The next Next engine is the K35B VTOL jet engine here. Very nice rear of the craft style engine, and I just love the design of this thing. Just gorgeous angular parts everywhere. And this one, we can look at the VTOL animation, so we just click that. Ah, oh, look at that, it's gorgeous. I love that this interior section of it spins around and then tilts downwards so that uh, the engine is now facing down to provide that upwards thrust and it is just a beautifully done animation. Look at that thing, so smooth. Just that nice twist and turn, a very, very cool indeed. Let's chuck that off though, because then we do have a second VTOL engine here for the back of the craft. And just like any of the other standard jet engines, you just pop this one right in the back of any, you know, fuel tanks, etc., that you have on your ship. And it has the same sort of angular design and the similar sort of twist and turn animation that I just uh, love so very much. And yeah, this one you could add to the, you know, fuel tanks on the wings or back of any of your planes or in any other weird place you might want to put one of these things and it will provide you with a glorious little VTOL engine that uh, from the testing I've done 
really sips fuel. Look at that, just 0 0.095 per second of liquid fuel usage. Ah, oh, these this engine just sips it away. You can get some really good gas mileage with this engine. And the final part that we have is here under command and control, and it is a jet thruster RCS. And this is a really cool thing. It goes onto the side of your craft just like any RCS port would, and it's got that cool little uh, danger jet blast texturing there. I really do love that thing. And uh, it has some interesting, you know, lovely little options in here for the little jet thruster. And what makes this truly unique is that rather than using mono propellant like these RCS ports do, this one actually uses air intake. I, I love that idea. So it's basically an atmospheric RCS that uses air intake rather than monopropellant, and it's just glorious. That means you save on fuel with your craft. You don't have to have some RCS tanks on the side of your plane weighing it down. It can just use the air intake instead, and that, well, that is simply glorious. But uh, yeah, these are the five parts that are currently in this mod pack. They are hoping to add additional ones in the future, such as a Mark I forward fan section, uh, some shorter adapters with built-in air intakes, and uh, other various parts that I really am looking forward to. But let's actually take a look at a plane that this mod also does come with to sort of show off what sort of design you can make. Now, I've played around with my own designs, and dear God, I am awful at flying VTOL aircraft, uh, which actually is one thing I should mention. It is recommended by the mod maker that you use the Throttle Control Avionics mod with this, as it helps you balance out your different thrusts, etc., so that uh, you don't end up rolling your craft over trying to take off vertically, like I continue to do every time I try to fly. But let's launch this K-35 sh Shorty VTOL so that you can uh, see this thing in action and, most importantly, check out that inline engine section. Oh my god, I love that thing to death. So let's, first off, brake. We will turn on the SAS and RCS, and as you can see, those uh, little RCS air thruster things open up. I do like that animation on those as well. It sort of pops out and flings up. Very cool indeed, and they'll work just like any RCS port, except for, once again, the cool air intake bit. Now, we have uh, on the VTOL lift section, we can, you know, do like any normal engine of lock, gimbal, activate, etc. Uh, but when we activate the engine, unlike normally, there we go, opens up, we have that large fan. Oh god, throttle down, throttle down, throttle down. Oh boy, no. <laughs> I no, forgot that I was throttled up a little there. But yes, we have that very cool fan air intake. And now that we actually are kind of much more nicely positioned to look under it, you can see the cool sort of uh, engine bottom here with all of its different... I don't exactly know what you would call those ports or just... I don't know. The air comes out of it. It's an engine. The thrust goes downwards. You go up, hopefully, or you die. One of the two. But let's uh, tilt ourselves back forward and also activate this rear engine uh, and toggle VTOL. There we go. That beautiful animation spinning down. And hopefully, if we start to throttle up, this thing should take off a little bit. Hold on. Let's... Let's... Uh, Make it look a little nicer here, throttle up a little more. Oh no, it's doing- oh, 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 hold on, there we go. It's actually decently balanced, unlike the planes I keep making with this. And yeah, we just took off vertically. And then, of course, once you do get up to speed, you can rotate these engines back forward. Like, let's actually do that, toggle the VTOL. And actually shut down this engine. Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. Oh, we're not gonna have enough thrust. And we're going to explode because oh, oh god, maybe we can. Nope, no, we're gonna die. Yep, we die. Oh, no, we didn't die. But we did explode. Yeah, I'm not good at flying these VTOL aircraft, but um, yeah, if you properly know how to fly and actually set all your action groups, you could do it without clicking and probably be a much better pilot than I am. But that, that is why I have built another aircraft of my own design that is surprisingly stable 
and kind of shows off what else you could do with these engines. I've got my little WTF VTOL here, so let's launch that with Bob inside. And, um, yeah, it, you'll notice it was on the launch pad rather than the space plane or the uh, runway over there. Because, well, it's a capsule with four of the VTOL <laughs> engines just pointing down. I don't know why I love this thing so much, but I do. There we go. All right, throttle down. We got a nice air intake up on the top, and this baby with the four engines is surprisingly powerful, and with such a small ship and the large SAS reaction wheel thing here, very stable. This thing actually flies really nicely, and is very easy to control, surprisingly, for a craft like this. But yeah, this is something else you could do with these VTOL engines, and of course we could screw ourselves up by, uh, you know, toggling one of these, and then they'd all be thrusting inwards towards our fuel tank, which wouldn't be a good idea, but hey, oh, we are overheating. Let's turn that thing down a bit. But yeah, th these, I love these engines. They are just such a cool design. The animations on them, as I mentioned earlier, are absolutely beautiful. There is all of our wreckage over there. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's a very, very cool little mod. I cannot wait to see how it develops in the future and with additional parts, uh, better animations, or well, actually no, the animations are already perfect in my opinion, but uh, better texturing, the interior. Oh, we actually didn't look at that. Let's, let's go back to the space plane hangar and leave anyways. I forgot to show off the IVA. That is a cool little craft though. And like I said, surprisingly easy to control. I was playing around with it earlier and I was actually, me with my really bad piloting skills was able to take off, land on top of the VAB with no problems with that lovely little craft. But le yes, let's load up, yes, clear the runway and uh, load up one of the K-35 shorties. Uh, there we go. <laughs> or we could load up my crap VTOL I was doing earlier, but no, that thing's embarrassing, so let's take a look at the properly designed plane and take a gander at the internal view. Hold on a moment, wait for it to load. There we go, throttle down, brake, and IVA with Jebediah. There we go. This is the internal view that you have at the moment just using this mod alone. Like I said, if you have B9 installed, you can swap out the config file and it looks much nicer in here. But honestly, even with just this bare bones one, it's quite nice. It comes pre-packaged with the raster prop monitor, so we do have all of the... Uh, prop things here that we can arrange and you know put different displays on which is always nice and uh, if we go to the rear seat got a little lovely view back here some more control panels our pilot Jebediah up in the front very fun very fun indeed I really do love this little mod and as I said cannot wait to see what it does in the future but let's activate these engines again because oh god I just I just love these things so much. The animations on it are beautiful. The just look, the feel of it, the stock alike, the fact that it matches in with the existing Mark II stuff, it is just an absolutely beautiful little mod. And if you would like to check it out for yourself, you can follow the link in the description of this video as always. And I definitely say you should go check it out. It is just so much fun. And you're probably a much better pilot than me. So maybe you could get these VTOL crafts working properly and you have all sorts of fun with them. Uh, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed this look at the uh, QuizTech Aero Pack mod today. And of course that you come back to have a gander with me at the next mod that will, uh, I don't know what next mod we'll take a look at, but hopefully it will be a fun one. But until then, my friends, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now let's fly away. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, oh, oh God, we're, we're angling the wrong way. Oh, this is going to go poorly. Later, everyone.